yet another system is developing here towards the east of the Philippines. You still have Tonyo off here towards the west. This is going to be a new system. So you definitely want to pay attention to this video. If you are anybody who is impacted by Typhoon Kony, Tonyo still recovering out here. This is the latest track fresh off of the latest warning from the Japan Meteorological Agency here on your Sunday night in the Philippines. They are anticipating a typhoon at landfall as we go ahead over towards Tuesday night heading into Wednesday. So I want to break down what's going on here. This is a short fuse storm, guys. And if you are ahead of this, you want to be paying attention, get ready for that possibility of evacuations. Conditions favor strengthening ahead of this. Guidance does indicate a typhoon at this time outside of the official warning from the Japan Meteorological Agency. And close to uh, where Goni and Roli made landfall. Goni slash Roli. And actually, not just that storm, Several other storms have made landfall over the course of the past month and a half. You need a break. This one's not giving it to you. Here's the latest satellite imagery here on Sunday night. IR imagery over Palau. Palau is getting pummeled by showers and a few thunderstorms out here on your Sunday. Center of circulation right in there, and it's pretty clear and defined on satellite imagery. Water vapor does also show plenty of moisture inflow wrapping into this storm system from the south. A little bit of dry air off towards the north, but it's not going to be enough to offset that southerly flow. Thus, you do have that indication for strengthening. Here's another thing. Plenty of shear off here towards the south, plenty of shear off here towards the east. This is showing 5 to 10 knots of shear northwest of that storm system as it tracks off into that direction. Uh, that is conducive for development, does spin up a storm system. And finally, this is the thing I always talk about, our sea surface temperatures in the Philippine Sea often can get pretty warm. This is over 30 to 31 degrees in spots my goodness that is just a hot tub for this storm to develop out here here's the latest from uh, the ecmwf model sunday night there's our circulation plenty of moisture flowing out ahead of this you have that moisture flowing into it as well as we go ahead over towards monday evening you start to see a little bit of strengthening here this is just a visual no it doesn't really give you the fine winds in that center of circulation that's why you want to check in with Pegasa for the latest warning, signal force warnings, and also on that track once this does spin up and they do name it, which I would anticipate would take place here as we go ahead in the Sunday um, overnight into Monday. Just God, JMA already had a warning out on this. I'm surprised Pegasa doesn't have one yet. As of me recording this, you might put it down in the comment section, but they do, Robert, as of me recording this. All right, so there is a low as we go ahead into Tuesday night, tracking off here towards the west. By the way, uh, there's this guy too. I'll talk about that in a second. That is the leftovers of Tonio. It is going to continue to bring some heavy rainfall across parts of Vietnam, but we're all, I'm really worried about this one, uh, mainly for a few reasons. Areas picking up here after Goni, and then you have on top of that, this could become a typhoon, very similar track. This is the ensemble. It splits a little bit as it heads off here towards the north, mainly because of a high pressure ridge towards the northeast. Some take it a little bit further towards the north. Some actually push it here into southeastern Luzon, but the bulk of the ensembles is right in there. So when I'm showing you right here, this is not the final track, not the final track, but it is a good idea based on chaos theory with the initialization of this model where this could be going um, as we look ahead. This is actually the HWRF versus the GFS. And look at this, this is showing pressure HWRF has a tendency to overrun things and a lot of people don't like to show this but I'm just giving you an idea of the technicalness and this is on the high end but this does show it definitely a typhoon there's Catan Duanas um, right there that's down here towards southeastern Luzon I shouldn't say Cassie that's Cassie Goran excuse me getting my uh, names mixed up here Cassie Goran here in the eastern Luzon Catan Duanas down here towards the southeast uh, this actually is the GFS pulls it a little bit further towards south. So there's a little bit of a disparity in the intensity uh, and the exact location of where this could go because it's still spinning up. The key thing to take away is that most of the guidance is showing something out of this pushing towards the northwest, becoming at the very least a severe tropical storm. I think more likely, especially since the official forecast from the Japan Meteorological Agency is out, a typhoon prior to landfall somewhere in central to southeastern Luzon. 
guys, I'm fatigued. I said this the last five videos of mine, done with this. But I'm gonna keep on posting, I'm gonna keep on updating you guys as, as long as it's needed. Not only on this one, but also what's going on with Tonio um, over the course of the next several days. Not only here, but also on my various uh, social media platforms as well. If you have not already done it, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, it's definitely encouraging the more subscriptions, the more of this can get out there and get shared. Not only because you know I want more subscribers, but also because I think in a short fuse situation like this, when people are just fatigued, people are done with it, you hear, if you're somebody picking up, you just got walloped by a super typhoon, and you hear another storm system's coming, you just, ah well, uh, that, that's human, uh, just humans, what we, we do do. And uh, we're just used to it, so we just kind of get numb to it, but we want to still be aware of all this. By the way, I also post other stuff here in uh, northeastern Florida, so if you follow me on these social media platforms and you just want typhoon stuff, I vary because I live in northeastern Florida now, was in Japan for many years. I forecasted in the Philippines as well, but I still keep track of you guys out there. Um, so just keeping you posted. Anyway, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, especially after all that rambling. I'm going to have another video, hopefully maybe later on, about 12 hours, once we get more warnings out from those official agencies.